It's up, baby. What's up with it? What's up with it, everybody? It's your boy RDR, and welcome back to RDR Food Reviews. And if you see here right in front of your face at the bottom of the screen today, that's right, your boy RD Rizzo is going to be trying Cheetos' new Mexican street corn Cheetos. That's right, their new Mexican street corn Cheetos. All right, so cut it. This is a brand new item that just came out. I've been wanting to try this bad boy for a good grip. And also, I want to try the Wendy's uh, spicy chicken chip that just came out. But I haven't found them out in a while. I did find these Mexican street corn Cheetos. I found these bad boys at a 7-Eleven. So we're going to get into those bad boys today. I know it's been a long time since I filmed. Obviously, most of you guys already know what's been going on. Pretty much all of you should be knowing. Recovered for surgery. Had a crazy three months. But now I'm feeling very healed and back in effect and whatnot. And I'm ready to get popping the jumping. You know what I'm talking about? Feeling good. Feeling me. You know what I'm talking about? Back in the mix again. You know what I'm talking about? So, if this is your first time coming to RDR Food Reviews, I am your host, Roberto Del Rio, and this is RDR Food Reviews. I not only do food reviews, I do uh, food evolved videos, I do challenge videos, versus videos, the work. So, if you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button at the bottom next to the notification bell so you get the latest, greatest RDR Food Reviews. Also, don't forget to check your boy out on Instagram at Roberto Del Rio 86. Uh, let's go ahead and get a quick moment of prayer in real quick. Oh, bless this food I'm about to receive. Help this food nourish my body, make me stronger as a person, stronger as a man. And bless us or grow hungry as we pray to please find some need in your holy grace. My name we pray. Amen. Love you, Father. All right, now. So if you're wondering where, why I'm filming in the bathroom, is because I'm uh, on a little outing with my wife real quick. You know what I'm saying? And I'm in a hotel room, and I, the bathroom usually is the best part where you can get good light in there. So that's where I'm at. So it is what it is. It's all about putting that good content, and I couldn't wait to film so I'm starting getting better, and that's why I'm here. So it is what it is and was what it was. So, yeah, cutting Mexican street corn chips. They're popped open, obviously, already because, I mean, these are supposed to be simulated elote chips. And my wife absolutely loves elotes. She's already tasted it and know what they're all about. I haven't. I'm about to see what they're talking about. And so, yeah, so this right here. It is Mexican street corn Cheetos right here. It says it's 160 calories for 21 pieces. That's not bad at all. Three servings in here. So we're going to get into it. And from the smell of it off the bat, Cuddy, it has a really fine corn-like smell to it. You know what I mean? Very, that's the first thing I smell at the gate off of it. So this is what it looks like. That's what it should look like. Nice and uh, season up with all kinds of flavors and usually what goes into uh, Mexican street core or aka elotes is is usually obviously the base is corn mayonnaise it's got to have that good helmet mayonnaise in there butter specifically hopefully parquet butter and then it's got to have cojillo, um cheese or whatnot it's such a good smooth type cheese and then of course the cream of the crop on top has got to have that good uh sauce on it you know what i'm saying hopefully you get that good but you know the really really hot stuff on there you know what i'm talking about you mix it all up pour it in the cup back in the low things so let's go ahead without further ado this is the mexican street corn cheetos let's get into it tasty Okay, so off the bat, you get a very strong corn flavor, very corn. The settings on the corn flavor is very high par, you know what I'm talking about? Now, on the spice kick, I don't taste a lot of spice, and I've ate a couple already to put it in together in like a whole combination of like together like in a whole, like right here in the trail. Do get the nice um, cheesy like flavor with a hint of wine, little hint, not that much. But on the spice kick, no spice at all. I can't really feel it. But it does have a nice tangy flavor to it. That's a nice little tangy flavor, not like overly tangy, but you get a nice corn tangy type flavor. Smoothness of that, like I guess they're trying to simulate like the the, the creamy mayonnaise buttery feel that you would get out of an elote, but spice level is non-existent to be very, very what? trill about it. And right here on the back of it, it's over here saying <laughs> tangy, spicy, and cheesy. Um, no, sir. <laughs> no, sir. 
No, sir. No spice at all. Which, hello, where are you? You know what I'm talking about? Can't taste it either. But it does have that very good corn flavor to it, which is good. You know what I mean? But I feel like that you need to have the settings on each one of them. You need to have the, the good, cheesy, creamy filled flavor. You need to have the corn, uh, corn flavor in there. And you need to have some spice kick to it. And the spice level is a little bit low into the bar. Then really that's kind of like what makes you crave the one and more. You know what I'm saying? Spicy corn. You know what I'm talking about? But really and truly it's not there at all. Which is a bit bummer. But I like whenever you taste it. You first you get the hint of the corn. Then you get the smooth, the smoothie flavor of the, 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 the buttery mayo kind of combination in the cheese. Of course, you get the crunch, and then you get a hand along, but you don't get the spice in between, which is a little bit really not working for me. Really? But it's good chips, though, especially if you like corn chips, like Fritos or whatever. You're going to love them because you're going to get the crunchy taste like, like you always do from Cheetos, but the spice is not there. Which is still good for 21 pieces for 160 calories. I think that you guys would like it. For the most guys, you know, that not looking for the spice, but me, myself, I am. And I got like a corn flavor in the back of my mouth. So, it's what it is. So, all right. Next dish, three corn cheese. All right. So, on an alphabetical scale, what would I give the Cheetos Mexican street corn um, Cheetos? I think I'm going to give it a C. I'm going to give it a C because, number one, the creativity to have the cojones to make Mexican street corn Cheetos is pretty brilliant. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hot Cheetos especially. Like, it would have been different if this was hot Cheetos Mexican street corn. It would have been even fire. Then you would be no losing, especially flaming hot Mexican street corn Cheetos. You couldn't lose then. That's what I mean by the spice. Bring on that flaming hot with it. You know what I'm talking about? But just original Cheetos? No. So, anyway, uh, yes, the spice levels are not there, but you definitely get the corn flavor. You definitely get a nice tang to it, hints of lime, nice smoothness of the cheese. The simulation is there. It's just missing just the added piece of, like, the flame. You know what I'm saying? And it needs the fuego, not just to make it true in the lote. You know what I'm talking about? And I feel like it's not there. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much... I think a C is very, very good for this, this type of review. review. And if you see this out on the log, like I said, I got this at 7-Eleven. If you see it out there, definitely go check it out and see what you would like out of it. You know what I'm talking about? So, a C is pretty good for it. Thank you, everybody, for watching my Cheetos Mexican Street Corn review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's your boy, RDR. And like I always say, man, hey, look, food is a gift. So please give thanks. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that like button. If you don't like this video, you really don't like my content, go on hit it with a thumbs down. It don't matter. I'm going to love you like I always have. It's your boy, RDR. I'm signing up out of here. God bless y'all. Take care already. I love you guys, and I'm going to see y'all soon. God bless y'all, and good night.